Hey guys, we're here at my fifth nutrition visit, second to last. Um, super excited to drive here. Uh, I was just thinking about like, oh my god, there's one more after this, and then the loose ends, and then ah, surgery. <laughs> but I am outside, and I'm actually running late, so I don't think I'm gonna take the camera. It's a super short and easy process, so. It's nothing really. So I will see you guys afterwards. <sighs> As you can probably tell, I'm a little bummed out. Um, I gained 10 pounds. And it's really frustrating. I know I haven't been eating like unhealthy fried chicken and mac and cheese. But damn, like... Um, I have been having an issue lately with my feet like they're swelling up super big like you would think I'm nine months pregnant in this booth. I just assumed because it was like I started a new job or whatever but I'm worried that like I'm retaining some kind of water weight and I'm hoping because I weighed myself um, like a few days ago and I was five pounds less than I am now so I don't know if it's because I eat a breakfast this morning Ugh, someone's pulling up next to me but we're gonna ignore them i don't know like i'm a little bummed i asked if it could affect like my surgery and um my lady said that i definitely want to get my bmi lower because they would prefer you to have a lower bmi i'm stressed okay so my plan is to go to my primary care get my thyroid levels checked because that could be what's causing these swollen feet but regardless i do need to get my thyroid levels checked like asap because i'm sure my, my medication dosage is not correct because it was always fluctuating before so plan is to get my thyroid checked um um, I know it's gonna be off like I just know so hopefully get on a new prescription and then hopefully we figure out the swollen feet thing because I need to start exercising and losing weight so I can have the surgery I don't want anything to affect like we were so happy in there like oh it's your second to last like this is like the next time I come will be my last time that I'm supposed to be coming here so I mean, nothing can get in the way. I don't want shit to get in the way. I wear glasses, but I hate wearing them on camera because they're so crooked. And I have to wait till March to get a new pair, so go figure. But anyways, I am on my way to Fort Lauderdale to see my parents. And then tonight I have to go see the sleep apnea person, doctor, not a doctor, but I'll call it a doctor. And they have to reset my machine and, um, like, get my records. Ugh, I'm just, like, stressing so hard. Like, I want to lose fucking 30 pounds in a month. Not possible. Alright, guys. I'll check in later. Hey, guys. I'm going Hi. out to dinner with my mom. Do we look alike? No. Because I'm fat. <laughs> Stop, Caitlin. Let's go. Okay. Enough See you guys at the restaurant. Hey guys, I was just sitting here editing the vlog and I remembered I never even ended it. I think the last clip I did was at the restaurant. I showed you my food maybe? Yes, that should be it. Um, so after I left the restaurant, I didn't really get into anything. I went to Hollywood, Florida and I had to turn in a microchip that was in my sleep apnea machine or CPAP machine um, and 
after that, the next day, I just returned home for work. And a few days later, here I am editing the video and ending the video. Before I end the video, I just wanted to fill you guys in on a weird situation I had at the restaurant and then give you an update about some of the issues that I was having in the beginning of the video. So while at the restaurant, I kind of experienced, I don't know if I should call it discrimination or what, but it was one of the, f I don't know if the first, but one of the few times that I've ever really felt humongous and just out of place. So I arrived at the restaurant with my mom and my mom's friend waiting for my stepdad to come join us. And so that meant we have a party of four. And when we went to go sit down, I realized the booth was going to be way too small for me. And I just would rather not be super uncomfortable during my meal and hanging out, trying to have a good time, have drinks. So uh, we asked our waiter if we could get a new table. Um, if we could have this like U-shaped table that was in the corner of the restaurant. You saw in the clips, it was kind of like busy in there super busy it's a bar restaurant um and so the booth that we wanted to sit in in the corner the waiter told us it was for a party of five or more and they wanted to save it in case a bigger party came in and so there were no tables available the place wasn't going to be like cleared up anytime soon so we're kind of just like well we need something bigger. Uh, I'm bigger. So, you know, it was a little bit embarrassing because my mom was like, um, my daughter's a little bit, you know, big. So we can't really sit at the booth. So the waiter told us like, okay, just wait right here. I'm going to go figure it out for you guys. Eventually he came back and he's just like, whatever, go sit there. I'll take care of it. And we're like, okay, let's go, you know, get our drinks, excited about the evening. <sighs> So we're sitting there, I scoot my fat ass, I'm just totally kidding, when I say my fat ass, I mean like my fat, P-H-A-T-S. <laughs> um, I went in the corner of the big booth and we were looking over the menu when actually someone from my high school, I went to school with him, he's my best friend's ex, <laughs> he's a waiter there and he came over and he's like, you can't stay here. And we're just like, okay, well... He's like, no, this table is for a bigger party. We're like, we, we're a party of four, and I'm also plus size. He's like, no, you can't sit here. We have to save it for a bigger party. And so um, my mom's like, can we get one of those big tables? And he's like, no, that's reserved for a party. And so we're like, okay, well, I guess we can't eat here. And he's like, like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> and so... On the way out, I just realized how shitty it was, you know? I can't eat at your restaurant because you can't accommodate me, like, okay. So I ended up talking to the manager, explaining the situation. He was like, okay, you can have the table. And I'm like, what was the issue for? And he's like, oh, the, the staff is just trained to seat bigger parties. Okay, well, your staff should also be trained to accommodate people. But anyways, that was super embarrassing, but the night went on and as you saw, had some food, really good food, and some drinks, and it was an okay time. So, aside from that, that was it. I was super uncomfortable about it, but you know what? Those are one of the things that I won't be missing. So next, I wanted to talk about what I mentioned earlier in this video about my feet being swollen and the weight gain and stuff like that. It's been about seven days since I last took that clip explaining that, you know, I gained some weight, my feet were swollen, I was stressed. I'm still stressed. <laughs> um, but I did go to the doctors. I lost two pounds. Over the last seven days, I've cut down, like, a lot. Not that I was eating a lot before, but, like, I cut down a lot. Um, and I just started eating salads and stuff like that some protein in there just to, you know, start this process of losing weight. Because of my feet issue, I can't really exercise right now because it's so painful, especially with these humongous swollen feet. I can't even fit them in my exercise shoes, so <laughs> hard. 
but I went to the doctors for that today and they're putting me on like water retention pills so I guess I'm gonna pee out all this extra water build up fluid down there I don't know but hopefully we will have a good ending to this because like I said still stressed I also ordered like a big gallon of protein shake from blessed protein I really want to be like sponsored by them or get some free stuff because that's expensive and I heard their stuff is really good so when I get that package I'll show you guys how that went but the point is I'm setting myself up because I'm putting myself on this pre-op liquid diet early yes um, I'm trying to lose as much weight as I can before the next time I return because I do want it to look like I'm making an effort. I want to make an effort. I want to lose weight before the surgery. So it kind of sets me up for my new lifestyle. But so as soon as my protein shakes get here and I go to the grocery store so I can meal prep. I'm supposed to have like six ounces of protein. I will be doing this pre-op liquid diet earlier than they want me to. Like I said, I don't want anything disrupting this process. I need to do what I came here for. You know what I'm saying? Also to update you, um, we're also checking my thyroid and my A1C levels just to put me on the right dosage, make sure everything's good with the sugar. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know it's not the best quality vlog. I'm gonna try to, um, <laughs> Step it up <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed it it's my first vlog but I do hope you enjoyed it um, hope you stick around to see me get better at vlogging and give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it share comment and subscribe because I like when people subscribe it's like I have friends ah! <laughs> all right guys so I will see you guys in my next video bye